Is your audio sync just slightly out on your Blackmagic A10 Mini or A10 Mini Pro? Well, Blackmagic have finally released an official fix for that. I'm gonna show you how to do it in this video. There's gonna be three very quick parts to this video. Number one, I'm gonna show you where you can download the latest ATEM software control that includes the audio delay up to eight frames of audio delay. Number two, I'm gonna show you how to identify with your existing ATEM mini setup and audio setup, what audio delay you need. So whether it's one frame, two frame, three frames, or up to those eight frames. And number three, I'm gonna show you how to apply that and to check that your audio is perfectly in sync once it has been applied. Firstly then, you're gonna to wanna to go over to the support page on the Blackmagic website and download the latest ATEM software control. Now, as of recording, it is ATEM Switcher 8.2.3, and this is the update that includes up to eight frames of audio delay and also some updates to the DVE to allow you to scale past 100% but we're gonna concentrate on that audio delay. So download that, install the new ATEM software control. You'll also need to open up the ATEM setup utility and update your actual hardware. Once you've got everything updated, jump into the ATEM software control. And if you go into the audio tab here, you'll notice a few new icons underneath mic one and mic two. I'll jump into the one that I'm not using right now, which is mic one. And if we click on that, we have two new features. One of them grayed out, unfortunately though, so the stereo simulation we can't use currently, but one that is enabled is delay. And you can see here, if we move this delay knob, we have up to eight frames of audio delay that we can add onto the signal here. So how do you identify what audio delay you need? Well, it's pretty simple. What you're gonna do is you're gonna leave your ATEM set up with zero audio delay, and you're gonna do a recording on your ATEM mini as it is right now. Hit record on your A10 mini, which I am just doing now. So we're recording. And then just do a couple of claps. You need a short, sharp sound because we're gonna take that into an editor and identify the, the sync difference between the audio and the video, so. Okay, we've got two nice loud claps. It's being picked up on this microphone and obviously I'm clapping into the camera. What I've done now is I've taken that clip that we just recorded on the A10 mini and I brought it into Final Cut Pro, which is the editor that I'm using right now. And here's how you're gonna identify what you need to set your audio delay to. So if I just zoom in here to where, we, where the clap was and the easy way of finding it is just look for these spikes here on the timeline. Now we've got the audio here down the bottom and then we've got the vision up top and we can scrub through for the vision. And we're just gonna find, oh, lost my point there. Go back. Just gonna find visually where the clap is. So let's skip back frame by frame. So there, there's that clap point. So I'll, I'll press, press M on my keyboard here to just make a marker there. Then all we're gonna do is find the spike of the audio, which is around there. With these, these are the frames, so it hasn't quite got that frame yet, so I'm gonna call that, and we'll just count to that marker point. So we've got one, two, three. So again, if we were to move, if we detach the audio, if we wanted to, we could just then sync up the audio in post, but we wanna do it in the A10 Mini. So the other way of just checking that is now that I have it synced up in post, what I can do is go right to the beginning of the clip, and count how many frames it is to the start of that audio file. So one, two, three, pretty much. So I now know that I need to add three frames of audio delay into the ATEM software control. It may be slightly different for you, for you depending on what your audio setup is. And let me show you how to do that now in the ATEM software control panel. So I've opened it up here. I'm gonna go back into the audio tab. And now on my mic, on mic two, which is where my microphone is plugged in, I'm just gonna click on the audio delay button and you guessed it, I'm gonna drag this up to three. You can see there up here, we've got confirmed that we are on three. So now, if I press record now, and I take this into the video editor, we should see that this is in sync. So let's do a clap to test. Press stop. Let's check that. Back into Final Cut then, I've just dragged this second file, which should be the in sync file into my timeline. And if we find the claps here, just move along. There it is, spot on. So you can see vision and audio 
in sync there. I could probably delay it if I really wanted to, getting technical one more frame to account for the time that it takes sound to travel. Probably isn't exactly at that point, but there's one frame in it and I'm happy with that. So between three and four for me, but it might be slightly different for you. So that is how to add up to eight frames of delay to your ATEM Mini or your ATEM Mini Pro to get your audio and video in sync. And I just wanna take this time because I think it's important to say well done to Blackmagic. Like it's clear that a lot of people were talking about this and requesting this feature and it just goes to show, and I love it when a company does this, they're watching the feedback from their users, watching the feature requests from their users, and then they're actually acting on it rather than just ignoring it. So I've got to say hats off to Blackmagic for actually doing that um, and well done to, to those guys. If you have enjoyed this video, please do hit the subscribe button. I've got a bunch more videos coming up over the next couple of weeks, all to do with the ATEM Mini and the ATEM Mini Pro and some new products as well. I've got some product reviews coming on this channel. So if you're new here, hit the subscribe button. And of course, if you liked this video, if you found it useful, do two things. Hit the like button, because that really helps. And if you know someone with an ATEM Mini Pro or an ATEM Mini that has been suffering from audio sync issues, share them this link, because then they can fix it. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.